go two weeks and not hear a woman's voice as an expert, as an analyst, or just as somebody, you know, a journalist met on the streets for Vox Pop. When you ask them, they will say, well, you know, the producers, they'll say that women do not, when we ask the women to come, they don't want to come. You're hosting a Saturday show. You call the woman on Friday. We do know how Ghanaian homes work. It's women that run the homes. And so if you're going to invite a woman to your show, you'd probably call them on Monday. So they plan. You give them ample time to plan. But they won't do that. Their excuse would be, we call the men and they show up. We all know Ghanaian men don't do much chores at home on Saturday. So they have the time to come and sit on your show on Saturday. So then you will have the southern men. And, you know, the real work of actively looking for people from marginalized groups it's not even there they're not you will ask and the producer will be like oh i wasn't thinking of it i called this person they picked the phone and that's what i got so that's who you're getting people will tell you when they go out for vox pops women don't want to speak and i'll say well you put videos of women um pronouncing certain words on on camera and you put it on social media and you mock them and so or on your tv station or on radio and so who do you expect? And also when women come on your programs, what stories are written about them? If you expose them to ridicule or insult and abuse, they're not going to come again. And so it, often it is men, but they will say, oh, the men are able to take it. But the way they will abuse a man online is not the same way they will abuse a woman. It doesn't work like that. <laughs>